All right, guys. So I think this will be the last entry for today. Uh, we are at the Imaginarium Science Center. And we are going to go on in there and just have a good time. And check it out and see what all goes on inside the Imaginarium Science Center. Uh, check back with you here in just a bit. Stick around. To the guys at ATM, this is my first time seeing one of your tanks in person. And I gotta tell you, this is incredible. Water dragon. Holy cow, that thing's huge. <laughs> Red rat snake. See, not all danger noodles are danger noodles. That one's harmless. Another snake back there. It's hiding out. It's an albino, probably a boa. And a rat snake. A gray rat snake. He is recently shed. And can't see him anywhere. Soon to have alligators, but no alligators. Only turtles. ball python hiding out under the log baby ball python and I can't see him <sighs> cane toad somewhere. Big old locusts. And down here. Turtles. Yellow belly sliders like was at the uh, butterfly garden. Can't see anything in that. 
There's that Chinese water dragon. Holy cow, he's huge. Oh, -ho. bearded dragon. Crested gecko. And a lot of these critters are so well camouflaged, you'll never see them. Tiger salamanders. I think I see him. He's buried back in the log. That's a big old salamander. Almost the size of a hellbender. Doesn't say what it is, but that's a big old lizard. Now, what do we got in here? Red footed tortoise. Kind of hard to miss. And black tailed prairie dogs. Alan! 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 <laughs> Hopefully somebody gets that. Look and gone. Okay, so Jennifer's playing in the phone booth. <laughs> I may not be able to get out. <laughs> okay, it opened. I think she made it out. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna be okay. Go in there. You feel very claustrophobic. <laughs> I imagine so. <laughs> very. Oh god. <laughs> Just in case anybody. Ever wanted to know what it was like to be in a phone booth? It has a fan. <laughs> Let's see. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh. Nine. Darn you, Tommy Two Tone. <laughs> Do it, Rachel. Go ahead. The starfish over here, too. That's so cool. They've got sort of a rubbery feel. Like a wet rubbery feel. Hey look, shrimp! Shrimp are there. Shrimp. He gonna get eat. No. <laughs> oh, cool. Rock lobster.
Lobster. Starfish right here on the side of the tank. Chocolate chip starfish. It almost looks plastic, but it's not. It's, it's real. Yeah, they feel like uh, kind of a hard, wet leather. Yeah. Can I take one off to go? No, I'm going down just touch them. Have you? How come you need good? I just don't want them lifted out of the water. Oh God. There is something under there. There is totally something under there. No, that is a lobster. Yeah, people on her, so you can touch his back. Is this a different species from those over there? Nope, these are just the female. Okay. And those are the male. They're uh, yellow spotted stingrays. Okay. And we have chocolate chip starfish in here as well as pencil urchins. And there's two horseshoe crabs in here as well. They tend to bury. There's one right here. And the other one we almost never find, but he's actually underneath that area. You can kind of see his tail. Okay. Yeah, he's a smaller one. And then there's a hermit crab next to him. Cool. The stingrays actually have barbs on them? They do. Um, if you see right at the last quarter of their tail, if there's a little piece that comes up and out, okay. um, we trim it back, but it'll go the full length of that, from, from that part all the way down the tail. Okay. And it just looks like a little serrated, almost like... So you keep them trimmed, but even they grow, still grow them back. They grow right? back. They grow just like your fingernails do. So every couple months we got to. Okay. And honestly, they very rarely try to use it. The boys more more often use it than not on each other, or think they're using it. Yeah. And they seem very docile, so. They are. They're very used to being handled and stuff. But when they don't want to, they'll move out in the corners, you know, where they know they're safe. They kind of hide. Yeah. yeah you, you're able to. Like to bury themselves in the sand. The boys will just get. You're able to kind of watch and see when they get tired of everything. Oh yeah. Don't let you know. Don't move away. <laughs> okay, I see the horseshoe crab there. He's just buried. Yeah. You could dig him up, but I wouldn't do it. No, I just leave not to stir up the sand, okay? I want to stir it up. That's cool. Why, hello there, birdie. Smile for the camera. <laughs> He's like, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Hi. Well, let me closer. He likes me, not you. <laughs> well, fine then. Correction, that is not a Mekong giant catfish. That is an Asian carp. But even still, that's a huge Asian carp. And a living tortoise. He's an olden. Been around a while. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at the fish. Good lord, there's some big fish in here. And I don't think they're all koi. Whew. I saw something absolutely enormous a minute ago. Oh, there he is. Holy cow.
I want to know what that is. Oh, there he was. Good Lord. Big old fish. Oh. Are those? They look. They're not they call them giant catfish, but they're big old fish. Some kind of carp. Maybe they are. Nope, Paku. Holy cow, those are Paku. Yeah, <laughs> those are red bellied Paku. Those are huge. I want to know what that is. I want to know what that thing is. Uh, huge? It's probably a cup catfish. If that's a catfish, that's a Mekong giant. It looks like a Mekong giant. See how those downward eyes? Mm -hmm. And then there's the Paku. My gosh. I didn't know they got that big. That's enormous. Do y'all have any tokens left or do y'all use them all? We use them all. Aww. They don't give you a lot of food. I done busted my dollar, so. But still. Wow. Do not think it'd be a good thing to follow. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but I would love to sneak in here at night and fish. Okay. Just throw out something and try and hook into one of those Paku. You know them big things that mom had mom and dad had in their fish tank that was like that? Yeah. Rachel? Some of those are Paku. That's what those gigantic Don't that. that. I think it's a Mekong giant catfish. But those are Paku. That's I didn't know. That's something I saw moving in the water when we were walking up. See him? Okay, guys. So the Imaginarium was freaking awesome, okay? I have, I have done a lot of little, little museum type things before, but that was a ton of fun. There's all kinds of exhibits, all different little things that you can do inside there. Um, little science things, you know, all kinds of uh, little physics engines. They've got they've got freaking Minecraft hooked up in the back of that place. You could spend literally all day just goofing off with all the little different tools and things that they've got in there, and it's a ton of fun. If you're ever in Fort Myers, Florida, and you get the chance, come to the Imaginarium. Uh, my favorite thing of the day was getting to see the ATM tank. That's the tank, the you know the tank that was built by the TV show Tanked. Uh, I thought that was incredible. Uh, that's my first time ever seeing one of those in real life, not on TV, and I thought it was freaking awesome. Uh, get the chance, pop on in, tell them I sent you. Actually, they won't know who I am. So either way, uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is Lemon Sweet Tea signing off. Y'all have a good one.